premium, adjective, of exceptional quality or amount, also higher priced. All right, ladies and germs, this is a rant video and it's mainly concerning the Commander Precons, but everything applies to the main set as well. Take a little thought ride with me here for a minute, right? How is this any different than this? Same ink, they're both reprints. There's no additional design beyond the design that's already been done. One is very valuable and one is worthless. Now listen, I'm not a silly goose with maybe less than average intelligence. I know that they each have different game utility. They each have different rarity. There's one that's more scarce in the world. One has more reprints, but the cardboard and ink is the same for each. We ascribe these cards value with our purchases of these cards. Some of you may have an uneasy feeling about this set, but you can't really pin it down. Why Commander Masters feels wrong to me is that it spoils the collective illusion that we all share. Wizards is breaking the fourth wall. They flirted with this before, with other master sets. You know, this set is worth more because it has higher value reprints. It kind of exposes the collective illusion that we all participate in to the brutal light of the sun. We all know that the printers won't overload if every card is a rare, right? Or that FedEx will still deliver a load of Commander Masters for the same rate as a load of Adventures in the Forgotten Realms. Imagine a world in which they said, hey, the price for a regular pack of 15 cards is four bucks, right? Commander Masters, we're including two rares, guaranteed showcase and foil card in each pack. The packs are 20 cards now. All this for the low, low price of 650. I mean, would you buy a box at that price? It would be enticing to me, of course. They're offering a foil, two rares, and a little couple extra cards per pack. Seems like a pretty decent deal. Their cost to produce is maybe mildly elevated to produce that foil. They're offering a premium for an increased price. Look what we have instead. It's kind of just disillusionment. These packs are like 13 bucks per pack if you buy in bulk. It is now July 20th, the year of our Lord Urza 2023. So far this year, there have been 11 Commander decks released, not including the Commander Masters decks. Spoilers for those have been rolling out all this week, and the community at large has been decidedly underwhelmed. Though Eldrazi Unbound seems to have some higher value reprints and bring some needed support to the Eldrazi archetype. There are $109 in reprints over two bucks in that deck, and that's fantastic. When you factor in the premium cost though, currently $163 on TCG Player, it's absolutely unattainable for most people. Just take a minute, listen, I can hear you typing as we speak, you're in the comments, oh, Nicky G's poor, he's crying about not having $163 to spend on a commander deck, what a loser, dude, I'm gonna speed off in my Lamborghini, see ya, brother. Well, listen, just hang on a second. The same 100 card deck, the same card stock, the same printers, the same delivery network accomplished the same product for 50 bucks a month ago, dude. See, the idea behind these Commander Masters decks is that they're premium, right? And thusly, cost double what a normal Commander deck does. $80 minimum for these with pre-sales much higher than that. Much, much higher, my friends. There is precedent for what a Commander deck should cost, right? All the way back in 2013, old Nikki G started buying precons with the Grixis precon Mind Seas. They've experimented with this over the years, but back then the deck came with three oversized foil cards of the three Commanders. These decks retailed at the time for about 35 bucks, right? To this day, you can still get this precon for 65 to 75 dollars. A hundred card singleton deck, I mean, what the heck do you want from my life? All right, and then 2014, we introduced the five monocolored commander decks, and at this point, I think the retail price went up to about $40. I remember buying it in Walmart and being like, oh, it's a little more expensive. Same thing, 100 card singleton deck with a foil face commander. The value in these decks was actually pretty insane. This was the last uh, reprint of the medallion cycle. There were a bunch of solid new cards and reprints in these decks. I think I got two of them. All right, well, fast forward a little bit to Commander 2017. These decks were 40 bucks retail and included some of the most sought after cards in all Magic the Gathering. All right, that was five years ago. Listen, things get more expensive over time. I get it, right? I also get that we went through a period of tumult for three years. Believe me, I understand all that. All right, let's take a look at a more recent offering for comparative analysis. March of the Machine Commander has the standard 100 card singleton commander deck with the two foil commanders. 10 plain chase cards, 10 double-sided tokens, and a planar die, and a, the foil etched thick commander, which is basically worthless. Plus those two collector booster part cards in the sample pack, which are probably gonna be doo-doo, at least in my experience, they're doo-doo. This to me is a premium product, right? There's an extra amount of stuff, those extra uh, plain chase cards and the planar die, above and beyond the norm. They don't have MSRP anymore, but these are all selling for under 40 bucks. 
except the cavalry charge deck, which goes for about 55. The packaging is the same. The amount of cards is the same, except for the bonus plane chase cards and the planar die. It costs wizards the same amount of money to print, design, and put together these decks. From an overhead standpoint, there's no difference between March of the Machine Commander and Commander Masters, Commander Dannard, Banana. A hundred cards is a hundred cards. The extras aside, the meat of the deck is the same. Is there 10 new cards? Is there seven? Is there 17? Does it really matter, dude? The decks are designed for players to be able to get right in and play. But in reality, these decks need quite a lot of tweaking to be able to sit at an even moderately competitive table. The mana bases suck. They're dud rares. I mean, come on, dude. No triomes, no fetch lands, no shock lands, not even a filter land in sight. There isn't anything remotely premium. You're not like paying extra for full art or extra foils. You know, these aren't fully foiled out products or anything like that. There's just an extra cost. It's literally the same product as March of the Machine. Now listen, I'm not disparaging the decks as a product. At 40 to 50 bucks, these are steals, dude. The Commander Masters decks are actually quite nice. The Lord of the Rings decks come with all new art, 17 new cards, collector booster sample pack, the problem with that product right now is supply is being throttled, so we have a premium price on Lord of the Rings Commander decks for those who want them. Those decks could be had for 50 bucks in the pre-order phase, which honestly I think is fair for a Commander deck. Now that the Warhammer 40k decks have stabilized supply, those can be had for 50 bucks or so at present. So what would you say if the Commander Masters decks had a retail price of 50 bucks? I mean, to me, that's fair. I mean, it's obviously something that they can accomplish for 50 bucks because they just did it two months ago. The Warhammer 40k decks had all new art, tons of new cards, and were great to play right out of the box. They even had to pay for the license of the IP, dude. If you compare $40 2017 decks to $50 2023 decks, accounting for inflation, increased shipping costs, a $10 increase over five years is not a hard pill to swallow. So tell me if you can elucidate me, what makes the Commander Masters pre-constructed decks premium? What separates them from the $40 to $50 decks that we've already gotten 11 of in 2023? You can point to reprint value, but it's only slightly higher than normal, and I'm being generous here. I mean, say you develop sudden card blindness, right? You couldn't tell one card from the other. Some people say the Commander players already have card blindness, dude. Where's the premium? What makes these more expensive to crack and open? Does the printer chug harder when printing rares? Does the truck get worse mileage with a big load of rares? Dude, come on, it's ridiculous. It's honestly all just an illusion. You can participate or you can choose not to participate. Remember, the mask slipped a little bit when the words, this product is not for you, slipped out of their mouths, dude. This product is not for you, you little stinky butt. It's only for the elites those who can spend as much on a box of Commander Masters as a used PS5. But listen, there is a silver lining. For those of us who like to collect, prices are really decent on some of the sets that have come before. If you look back six months, just like the last Master set, there's going to be fire sales, reprints, and second waves. Just be patient, dude. Don't FOMO. Remember, you have a bunch of cards already. Just go look in your bulk box, dude. You can make 10 Commander decks in there. Trust me. I'm in your house right now. I'm looking at you in your house, dude, in your bathroom. Pick up a cheap single or two if you want, or you can sp skip the product altogether, my friends. I love playing. I love Lord of the Rings, dude, but I feel like it's overpriced, and I opted right the heck out of that for now. I'm building using things I have or things I can get very cheap. And if there isn't a silver lining for you, well then, listen, you've saved money to set aside for your mortgage, buddy. And I don't like to be negative. Listen, as a matter of fact, I like a lot of the designs and reprints in the Commander product here. The decks look sick, but not $100 sick, brother. Sneaky G from Better Commander signing off.